Hey, hey everybody, Hooterville75 with Midnight the Ferocious Sissy coming to you with another video. This is my official entry into the Russell Gosselin D-Day group build. I didn't want to take on any more group builds until I finished the current projects I had been working on. Now the M48 A2 patent tank is finished. And all I have to do is decal and a little bit of weathering on the Hawker Typhoon and it's done. So I would like to officially get into the Russell Gosselin D-Day group build. So I will be building this Tamiya 135th scale Sturm Geschutz 4 SDK FZ 163. So, I mean, the box art, pretty typical. You know, it shows the tank. Another picture of the tank comes with a figure. Another picture of the tank. There's some more of the tanks in this series, the miniature, 135th miniature scale series that you can get to build. And then another picture of the tank again. So... Here's one of the one bag of the sprues. There's two sprues: the road wheels, idle wheels, all the wheels, the figure, front and back plate. Here's another bag of sprues: two sprues, the upper hull, you know, just various parts. There's another figure. There's the side plates. Then you have the lower hull. That's all there is to it. Poly caps. And then you have these tracks, which are typical to me of tracks. They're junk, but it is what it is, I guess. It's what you get. The decals pretty cool you get four tactic schemes four basically vehicle numbers and then four emblems they give you four division markings four tactical markings and the vehicle number so like say your first company first platoon Number three, vehicle number three, you'd be 113. So they give you different variants 314, 213, 113, whatever. So projections are pretty, pretty typical to Mia. Three page fold out with a little history of it. Inside it gives you the sprue call outs. They're actually numbered too, that's nice. And then it tells you what every part is. Construction wheels, you know, rear panel, so on and so forth throughout building it. Lower hall wheels, upper hall, all the bits and bobs, cupola, side plates, and then your paint and decal scheme. The painting sequence is dark yellow, but as you can see down on this one, there's some camo, a little bit of camo going on here. Whenever they were out on the battlefield, they would throw, like, tactic marks or, you know, battalion marks or something like that with red-brown and dark green paint. So... Pretty basic kit. Pretty cool kit, actually. I'll let you look at these parts here. Uh, so, 135th, like I said, Sturmgeschutz 4 SDK FZ 163. Basically, what it stands for is Storm or Assault Gun, which was developed between 36 and 9 for armored support of infantry. It was first battle tested in the invasion of France in 40. Later models of the Sturmgeschutz 3 led to the 4 
in early 1942 with either a 7.5 cm Sturkenone 40L43 or a 40L48 in later years. The Camp Wagon 3s were phased out 43 claiming they cut costs so they suggested the Sturmgeschutz 3s be issued to the tank division. Output for the Sturmgeschutz 3s were already insufficient so in November of 43 Hitler decided to use the chassis of the Panzer Pan Panzer Kampfwagen 3. The idea was to use the new Sturmgeschutz 3 for the Panzer Division using the superstructure of the Sturmgeschutz 3 with the chassis of the Panzer 4. So they had to you see this side stripe here and then up here they had to add a support to fill the gaps and basically protect the driver so they started producing them Krupp Grayson of Magdeburg started production in December of 43 and they produced about a thousand that equipped the third battalions of some tank regiments in place of tanks. Early models were the Panzer Panzer Kampfwagen 4 AUSFH chassis, but most were on the AUSFJ chassis. So Zimmerit anti-magnetic coating was common, and some had ferroconcrete added. To the front for protection and if you go and check out Clint the Mad Modeler or Co and C they have a current build where they're experimenting with the Zimmerman so Clint for sure I know Clint the Mad Modeler definitely has a sorry for the shakiness has a uh, build that he's experimenting with the Zimmerman I think it's a shadow build or a buddy build so you can go check out what that consists of with the Zimmerman you no, know, it's a really hard technique, so I think Clint was getting it figured out pretty good. The crew consisted of four, with the commander in the hall left rear, gunner in the hall left center, loader in the hall right rear, and the driver in the hall left front. Combat weight was 23 tons. Top speed was 24 mile per hour on the road, or 15 mile per hour cross country. Ammunition held 63 rounds, AP-39, AP-40, and HE, and armor was 85 mm maximum and 10 mm minimum. So, there's a little history of the Sturmgeschutz. I hope you could understand my recording because I'm pretty shaky tonight for some reason. I don't know what's up with that, but there was one other thing I wanted to point out that I received in the instructions that I was unaware of. For burning plastic, make sure the heat sprue to heat sprue with PS marking. Anytime you bend sprues or make an antenna out of sprue, make sure it has PS on that it's polystyrene because it says other sprue may generate poisonous gas if heated. So I was unaware of that. So that's good information to know. So, all right, that's my official entry into Russell Gosselin's D-Day group build. If you haven't already checked Russell Gosselin out, make sure you do so. He's a very talented builder, very nice, nice guy, nice friend, good friend to have. So, like to give my buddy Waterloo Seven Four Five a big shout out. Chris from Primitive Modeling. He's an awesome bloke from, he's an awesome guy from UK. Uh, old Git, my old buddy Mick. If you haven't checked him out yet, check his channel out. Very, very good figure painter. I mean, he's good at other models too, but figure painting he does really well at. Uh, of course, Cohen C. Mark O'Neill. Norm LaJoy, Storm 22 TPT, I miss you, buddy. 
Hope to see a video from you soon. Alex Modeling. My mate Lenny from Surface Terra Models, Model Pro 72. Uh, Chris Cleansmith. Oh my, there's just so many. Dr. Cranky. Styrene Junkie 73. Louis Skullberry Sanchez. So, alright, 10 minutes. That's long enough for me. So, my official entry into the Russell Gosselin D-Day group build. Stay tuned for progress videos. I am going to be also entering the Chevy Cheeseburger Chevy Tribute Challenge. I'm going to be building a Chevy NASCAR, either a Lumina or a Monte Carlo. Not sure which one yet. So, come March 1st, I'll be juggling both these builds around. So, stay tuned for progress vids on both. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Hooterville 75 with Midnight to Ferocious Sissy. See you now.